Have you invested in ultraviolet disinfection system for your family and you're finding you're still getting bacteria in your water? Well, I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot that in eight easy steps right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy. I own Water East Store and the Water Store in Midland. If this is your first time to my YouTube channel watching one of my videos, welcome. Please click the link in the bottom right hand corner of your screen to our subscribe button. That way you'll, it'll take you right to our YouTube channel. There's hundreds of water treatment videos on there. They explain how these systems work, how to troubleshoot them, buyer's guides, etc. I'd also really encourage you to watch this video right to the end because I'm going to have a link to a playlist that uh, has all my ultraviolet disinfection videos all grouped together in one playlist. So lots of great information there to help you make uh, great decisions for you and your family. If you're not 100% sure how these ultraviolet disinfection systems work, I encourage you to check this video up here in the left hand corner. There's a link there that'll take you right to my YouTube video that shows how an ultraviolet disinfection system works. Basically how they work is water passes uh, past an ultraviolet light lamp and that lamp kills the bacteria as the water's flowing past. All right, so the first thing you need to check is, is the light actually on or not? So um, there's a LED light on pretty much every system, modern system on the market that will show you, it will illuminate to show you that the ultraviolet system is working. Again, more modern systems than that, they have uh, bells and they have whistles and different uh, ways of notifying you that the light isn't working. But one way you can for confirm for sure is if you don't use any water for eight or 10 hours, something like that, don't flush the toilet, don't run any water. If you go downstairs and grab the stainless steel housing, this will be quite warm. That's because the light is heating up the water. So that's one way to tell you that the light is actually on. The next thing you need to check is that um, how recently was it that you changed the ultraviolet lamp? These lamps are only good for 12 months of use. After 12 months, the light is still lit, but their ability to kill bacteria starts to drop off. So if you haven't changed that lamp in 12 months, that may very well be your culprit of why you're getting a, a bad test right now. The other thing is the lamp fits inside a long glass sleeve. It looks like a long test tube. That's inside here. That has to be perfectly clean. As you can appreciate, if that's dirty, then it's like drawing a curtain across the light. It's not going to kill the bacteria because the light can't shine through that dirt to be able to kill that bacteria. Um, so did you have a power failure recently? If you did and you used water, then the light isn't on so it can't kill the bacteria. So that may have caused the, the it, it infected water to get downstream of the ultraviolet system. Was the ultraviolet system correctly sized when it was installed? So I have a great, uh, if you click on the link up here, I have a great YouTube video that shows you how to size an ultraviolet disinfection system. They're sized by flow rate. If your flow rate is higher than your ultraviolet system's uh, ability to kill the bacteria, again, you're gonna have a problem. Have you met the pretreatment requirements? So the water has to have certain degree of hardness. Hardness has to be seven grains per gallon or lower. If it's not, you're going to have hardness building up on that sleeve. Again, it's going to become opaque. And again, the light isn't going to shine through to kill the bacteria. Do you have iron in your water? 0.3 parts per million is the maximum for an ultraviolet disinfection system. So again, it would, it, the iron would um, color the outside of that sleeve. And again, the light wouldn't be able to, sh to shine through. Is your ultraviolet transmittance 75% or higher? And is it sized based on that flow rate? So again, if you're not sure what your ultraviolet transmittance is, you can always mail us a sample. I'll put the, our mailing address in the description down below, and we can check it with our UVT meter to make sure your ultraviolet transmittance is in line with the ultraviolet uh, disinfection system that you have. Was the system disinfected? Like when an ultraviolet disinfection system is installed, all the plumbing downstream of the ultraviolet uh, system needs to be disinfected in the home or cottage. Because as the water passes through the ultraviolet light, it's gonna kill the bacteria. But it's not gonna kill any bacteria in the water that's downstream of the system. So that bacteria will keep reinfecting the water. So I have a great video up here that shows how to do, to do that disinfection process. Do you have any plumbing dead ends? I'll show you what I mean. So this is a, an example here. So the water flowing through the um, plumbing to the whole house flows through here, but there's a dead end. So why would there be a dead end? Maybe a hot water tank got moved or something else got moved when the house was being renovated, or it might be a brand new house where you're planning to put an outdoor shower or something like that, but you're not ready to install it yet, so you just cap the end. Well, the problem is, if when you're disinfecting all the plumbing in the house, when you're doing the initial installation of an ultraviolet disinfection system and you put chlorine in the system and you run it through to disinfect it, well, as long as the water flows through, 
you'll get the chlorine right to the ends, which is what you need to do. The problem is you'll never get the chlorine out of this end because it's totally filled with water. So what'll happen is you can disinfect the whole house and then a few days or a week or a month, the, the infected water that's here will reinfect all the water in the system. So what you need to do is you need to get rid of this dead end. So either what you need to do is um, cut it out of here and just put a piece of straight pipe in, getting rid of it all together, or you can put a tap on the end here so when you're disinfecting, you can run a little bit of chlorinated water out of the end here, and then you're good to go. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate if you could share this video with your Facebook friends. For some more information, you can go to our websites, either thewatereaststore.com or thewaterstoremidland.com. And that playlist I was talking about earlier, Ultraviolet Disinfection Playlist, is right up here. Again, there's tons of videos on there, great information about ultraviolet disinfection systems, how to disinfect the plumbing downstream of it, and a whole lot more. Check it out, you'll really enjoy it. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from The Water Store. Thanks for watching.